Yo guys, what is up? Dave here. Long time since I've made a video. It's been quite a while since I've made a video. If I'm a little bit burpy, I'm a little bit... I, I ate too much mac and cheese. But that mac and cheese is just my thing, man. By the way, somebody commented recently and said my videos and my voice is too quiet. Turn up your damn volume. Half the time I'm talking, I'm peaking. That's the only reason I have it down this low. If I put it up here... You're going to hear me way too loudly. So I put it down like this. Anyway, turn up your damn volume. So today's video is kind of a rant. It's been a while since I've made a video, and I just wanted to rant about something. A website called Guided Hacking. I used to like this website. I thought they were a great resource for learning, um, learning and getting tutorials and stuff like that for, uh, you know, coding and hacking and stuff and not recently I mean it was in April but now is just the time when I'm kind of calling it out they added this new thing in place I don't know if ownership changed or if something happened behind the scenes and somebody just got mad at somebody else sorry if somebody got mad at somebody else or what but my god I'm going to show you their terms of service because I, I hate this goddamn place now. It's ran like Nazi Germany. So, first of all, I believe they still have the paywall in place that you have to pay at least a dollar to post. Which, okay, whatever. Whatever. So... Yeah, here we go. Paywall deployed, 121.20. On January 1st, a paywall was deployed. In order to make a post, you must donate a minimum of a dollar. Free users can read the form and download attachments, but you cannot interact with a post or make posts without giving them at least a dollar. Oh my god. Alright, let's, let's get into this, because this is, this is a shit show. This is not how you run a community. Mm -hmm. cesspool admin you're the cesspool rake you're a fucking asshole anyway so absolute zero tolerance if you piss me off it's an instant permanent ban okay i can somewhat understand that but seriously at least a one strike thing like come on i'm sick of explaining this if you have a problem fuck off it's that simple rake you're an asshole I don't know how many times somebody make a counter and put it on the screen or in my comment section of how many times I call rake an asshole. Um, if I go to a pizza restaurant and I don't like their pizza, I leave and never go back. If you have a problem with something on guided hacking, leave and never come back. Well, fuck you. I'm still here, bitch. Um, if this is too hard for you, your stupid fucking brains to comprehend, then you deserve to get banned. Well, you can't ban me because I'm not logged in, bitch. Um, I do have an account here, and it is the obvious username, I think, of TechX, but, you know, what the fuck ever? I can see the post without logging in, you dipshit. Um, we are not Twitter, Reddit, or Facebook. We don't give a fuck, and we definitely are not the government, and we don't need your fucking votes. We absolutely 100% don't give a shit. So shove your fucking opinion straight up your ass, or get banned. If you think you're so fucking smart, make your own website and get the fuck off mine. Which somebody, somebody did, and I'm very happy they did. Um, that somebody's not me, but I am registered on the site, and I'm going to start supporting that site heavily soon. Um, I just needed to find time, and, you know, it's summer. So I'm kind of a little busier than normal. I have banned 28,500 people, and I will continue to ban everyone that pisses me off. That's not how you run a fucking community. Rake, you're an asshole. I don't work my ass off all this time to accept a single word of bullshit aimed in my direction. Rake, you're an asshole. I would rather that this website died than allow you to disrespect me by trivializing my sacrifices with petty criticism. Again, Rake, you're an asshole. You run a game hacking website. Half the shit on this thing is illegal anyway and could easily be DMCA'd and taken down. Don't be proud of your shit. Let's look into more stuff. Rules of the forum. This one is <laughs> GH Growth and Rake. 
for five years I have read and tried to answer every thread, post, Facebook post, YouTube comment, private message, email, and chat message. This takes one to four hours per day. GH has grown and I can no longer do this. GH consumes 20 to 40 hours of week of my time. There's not enough time in the week for me to do any more. People keep messaging me and I can't keep up anymore. I can no longer be admin be the admin I once was. I need to focus on things that help GH grow the most, which rake, you're an asshole. Um what you're doing is not that. Banning twenty eight thousand five hundred members is not that. To be efficient, which usually means making videos. To an outsider, you may think that GH is easy and takes five minutes of work, but you really have no idea what it takes. I do know what it takes. I've ran many goddamn forums, as well as being staff members on many goddamn forums. I've seen many forums die because of the way this man is treating his website. We finally have enough active members posting quality replies that I no longer need to read every thread. Thank God I can now focus on more of my time on coding and videos. Thanks to all the new homies, which... Rake does not sound like an asshole there, but let's get on to the next thread. Rules of the form. Guided hacking, terms of service, updated 423.20, two days before my birthday. Happy fucking birthday. Uh, I would have never supported this site to begin with if I would knew it was... I would have never even made an account here if I knew it was going to be like this. You will be banned for violating these rules. This is not a joke. GH is not another internet cesspool for you to shit in absolute zero tolerance. If you pissed me off, it's instant permaband. Well, seeing as you call yourself a cesspool admin, I'm pretty sure you're considering your website a cesspool. We reserve the right to ban you from our service for any reason, regardless of breaking rules or not. Yes, that does make sense. Suggestions, criticisms, requests, and opinions are forbidden. Shove your opinion up your ass. We don't give a shit. Rake, you're an asshole. Leave Rake alone. He's not your friend or your mommy. Don't waste his time with stupid shit. That I can kind of understand. As being an admin, you have a lot more on your plate as far as keeping the website alive. Who knows if somebody's, you know, making hacking attacks and trying to crack your password all the time and updates to the forum and just making sure everything is running right, as well as your actual real life outside of the forum. Totally makes sense. Sorry, to burp. User, up user upgrades are donations, not purchases. Completing a donation transaction is not a promise to deliver products or services. If somebody gives you money, you give them what they paid for. The end. That's it. You give them what they paid for. One second. Wanted to reply to somebody on Discord. Sorry about that. Because Rake is an asshole and he doesn't deserve my full attention. Um, so basically, yes. If somebody gives you money, you give them what they paid for. If somebody is giving you their hard-earned money, I don't care how they got the money. As long as they're not stealing it from like their parent or something. Um, they gave you money, you give them what they paid for. We offer the ability to donate for those that want to support our service. The perks you may or may not receive after donating are not guaranteed. Bullshit. Give them what they gave you money for. We reserve the right to ban you, remove perks, or restrict your access to our service for any reason. Donations are meant to be a way to say thank you to GH without an expectation or earning something in return. Bullshit. Give them what they paid for. Rake, you're an asshole. If you are donating for the sole purpose of receiving a perk, please do not donate. Donating does not guarantee you will be helped. There, that we will be nice to you or that we will not ban you. Rake, you're an asshole. Donations are not refundable. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Look at me. Watch me click PayPal and say that that shit was an unauthorized uh, purchase. And boom, I'll probably get my money back. Rake, you're an asshole. Do not talk about Discord or other chat services. All communication is to be done on the forum. So, part of me can understand this, but also, you can't literally be somebody's parent. So, I can understand this from the side of trying to protect your users if somebody comes on the forum and is like, oh, give me your Discord or add me on Discord and I'll give you the download link before a staff member approves it. That could be a virus. You know, that's... Something that can happen. That's just a good example. Um, but at the same time, Discord is how people 
instant message now. Nobody uses MSN Messenger anymore. I don't think it exists. Nobody uses AOL Instant Messenger. That does also not exist anymore. Nobody, nobody should use Skype. Nobody should use Zoom. Like, come on. You know, you can't stop people from communicating. Um, that's stupid. We're commutative creatures. So, like, we're going to find a way and we're going to, you know, share this info. MPGH is actually the same way with this rule. They don't allow you to talk about Discord on the forum, which I think is fucking stupid. Um, no hack requests. Don't request hacks. Where to find hacks. Ask for babysitting. Mentoring or trying to pay for hacks. So, don't you have a request section? That's literally the point. So wouldn't a question and answers hacking help section be basically a request section? Um, wouldn't a CSGO questions and answers section be basically a request section? Uh... Okay, so it, huh? So yeah, it, there isn't as much here as I thought. Got it. Uh, which, by the way, I'm using a VPN to view this website as well. So good fucking luck to them banning me by IP, because I'll just use a different VPN. Um, so yeah, they don't have any specific request sections, but come the fuck on. <laughs> Oh my god. Know how to bypass anti-cheat noob threads. Unless you have a specific question, read all about anti-cheat in our guide. That I can understand. I get very annoyed when somebody asks me, How do I bypass this game specific, but specific anti-cheat? Where do I buy the dedicated wham? Um, I hate that question too. I'll be honest with you guys. It's... A dumb question. Every game is a little bit different. Sure, an anti-cheat for Call of Duty Warzone may be very similar to Call of Duty... I don't pay enough attention to Call of Duty to know another Call of Duty game that's the same age as Call of Duty Warzone. Uh. Punk Buster is Punk Buster. We all know Punk Buster from back in the day combat, or uh, Call of Duty uh, anti-cheats. Punk Buster for one version of Call of Duty is not going to be the same version of Punk Buster for another Call of Duty because it's going to be different addresses and slightly different programming pertaining to that version of the game to bypass. So realistically, asking how do I bypass an anti-cheat, you need to be more specific. Yes, you can say, how do I bypass the anti-cheat for this game? Or something like that. But even then, still, that really doesn't narrow it down and no one's going to be able to help you if they've never touched the game before themselves. It's fucking 1am and there's still people blowing off fucking firecrackers and shit. It is June 29th. Go to sleep, you freaking bitch. Good lord, nobody should have given all these non-essentials six hundred dollars a week because they're just blowing off a hundred dollars a night um anyway sorry that side rant is over i have adhd can you tell and autism sort of maybe no requesting help without effort don't waste our time that i can understand if you haven't tried yourself or you seem like you didn't read through the tutorial before actually trying it and all that kind of shit. Completely understandable. Um, GH is not a marketplace. Talking about exchanging money for any reason is forbidden. That's understandable. Good rule, Rake. That's plus one to your negative 69. <laughs> nice. Um, you know, Rake, you're an assholes. Uh, I have no idea how many times I've said it, but hold on. For good measure... Rake is an asshole. 
Got you. Anyway, uh, PUBG and Fortnite and Forbidden. Maybe if you actually could form a sentence better than those 12-year-olds, I would take this more seriously. This is probably supposed to be... like that. Um, there, I, I helped you, but Rake, you're still an asshole. PUBG and Fortnite is forb forbidden. We don't want immature 12-year-olds begging for shit here. Most people I know that play Fortnite and PUBG or v Valorant or whatever it's called are way over 12. I get that some people that are older act immature and seem 12, but they're definitely older than 12, and they can definitely pay for your stupid paywall if they want to, you know, post here. No pasting. If you ask for help pasting, you will be banned. Learn to hack the correct way or fuck off. I'm going to paste code if I have questions about a specific code. If I don't quite understand how or why it works, I actually can tell you from experience. When I first made the Crossfire Zero download tool to download all of the stuff from their website, I didn't actually understand why my code loop worked in C Sharp because it was based on a Visual Basic script. So I didn't understand why it compiled, and I actually had to ask people, and I gave them snippets of the source code. And I think that's a little different to what he's mentioning here, but... I didn't quite understand why my code worked, so I copied and pasted it to a few people, had a couple different people explain it, and I took what everybody's explanation was and kind of combined it together in my head to understand why my code worked, and then that helps. But what I think he's referencing here is like, let's say you find a code base on MPGH, and you want to take that code base and rip it apart for VIP features that shouldn't have been leaked. This used to happen back in the day with Combat Arms all the time. Um, you go to a different forum, let's say Guided Hacking, to bother the fuck out of them, um, because Rake, you're an asshole. Uh, let's say you come here and you just paste some random feature and ask, how does this work and why? What What's the address for the player thingy that's marked right here? and you just paste the code without even a code box. Clearly, you don't know what you're doing. Go back to basics. That shit's annoying. Go back to basics. If you don't know what you're doing, pick up a goddamn C++ book for dummies and start where we all started. It's just smarter that way. Filling out thread forms is mandatory. Fill out the form correctly. That makes sense. You want to keep things organized and done correctly you must speak english our spanish sister site is gamers hacking i wonder if they're just as bad Oof. hold up we're gonna see if this is ran just like nazi germany too announcements doesn't look like it doesn't look like this is as Nazified. Then again, I can't read Spanish. So uh, somebody tell me that does speak Spanish if that's as Nazified as this place is, because Rake is an asshole. Um, no outside downloads. All downloads must be uploaded as attachments. That makes sense. I'll give them that one. Files must be uploaded to GH with a virus scan. Post a virus, virus total link if you are posting anything. Again, understandable. Good rule. No packed or protected binaries. Uh, direct message a moderator. If you think you're special, we can pack it for you. Understandable. No spam or advertising. Understandable. Don't be rude unless the user is retarded. <laughs> So it's funny because that's actually kind of one of my favorite rules ever. I don't know if you, I don't know if anybody here's 
ever looked at my rules on the TechX Discord because I don't make it mandatory because I don't know how to set up a Discord bot. I probably should learn. <laughs> but uh, the first rule on my Discord is most important rule. Admins and moderators are allowed to insult you in front of the entire community if you deserve it before being banned from the server. This is a one-liner, nothing more, nothing less. So basically, I, and even then, I would say, you know, keep it within reason. Make it funny. Don't be an actual asshole and just be like, huh, you're an asshole. And then ban the person. Like, that's stupid and mean. Um, make it something funny. Make it a good joke. But, like, realistically, <laughs> as straight to the point as this is, that's actually one of my favorite rules on any forum. I will straight up admit that. Uh, let's see. Wares are forbidden, no copyright infringement, torrents, cracks, key generator, serials, etc. You probably have cracks on this forum. There are probably copyright infringements on this forum. Because of the nature of this forum being a game modding and hacking website, there are cracks on this forum because you're cracking anti-cheat, and there's definitely copyright infringement because you're technically not allowed to give out... Um, so let's say Combat Arms, for example. MPGH. I have done releases of hundreds of mods for Combat Arms over my you know, years of modding Combat Arms. Technically, I am committing copyright infringement with every single mod I release that is a modified version of their files. So if I take the render style uh, rs.res and I make a wall hack by modifying that file and I'm instead of doing a custom uh, rs.res or a custom render style.ltb so basically a custom default.ltb with the render style editor and instead I take Nexon's created default.ltb, open it in the hex editor, and hex edit the bytes of the file, and then release that mod, or better yet, if I take the M9 knife, and I hex edit it to be a super knife, so it's got rapid fire, and then I release it on MPGH, that is copyright infringement, because you're releasing you are modifying and releasing files that technically don't belong to you. They still belong to the game developer, even if they're installed on your device. No spamming your repos. Attach your zip to the thread. Understandable. Um, game hacking only. Our conversations regarding game hacking that is not client-side game hacking related is forbidden. This isn't Skids Anonymous. I can kind of understand that. You can get into some really hairy territory when it comes to uh, doing things like server communication hacks. Uh, no disrespecting rake mods or GH. Oops. Rake, you're an asshole. Um, no cross-posting. So if I want to be a member of multiple forums and just get my name out there, the stuff I post here can only be posted here? No. No. I'm allowed to post my stuff wherever I want. Oh, there's more. Don't be a dick. Insulting other members just because you know more than them is prohibited. And yet, you said up here, one of my favorite rules. Where the is it? Don't be rude unless the user is retarded. So, that kind of counteracts. Be polite to all members. Everyone should feel welcome if they follow the rules. So, <laughs> see when they did that, that makes sense. I mean, I don't blame them on that one. That definitely makes sense. But, like, this is not how you run a community. GH will never have Discord chat or chat box. That's really fucking stupid. People need a way to message instantly period let them have it it's fucking stupid that you're having rules like that unbanned from youtube you were banned from youtube 
probably should be banned from YouTube. And it probably wasn't unbanned. It was probably, oh, wow, 66,000 subs. I mean, congrats on that, I guess. But, like, I should still probably flag you for your content because I don't think it's technically... I think it's against the TOS of YouTube. would never donate to this website. Rake is an asshole. So, I mean, long story short, yes, it's a good thriving community. I will give it that. It's interesting that it works and that so many people are actually willing to put up with this bullshit. I can understand wanting to keep the skids and 12-year-olds, as they called them, out. But running your website like Nazi Germany, this is goddamn stupid. Rake is an asshole. I don't care what anybody says. Rake is an asshole. And I will, I will never recommend anybody use this website. The reason this came up and the reason I got mad tonight is somebody messaged me on Discord and said... I've been trying to learn how to unpack and reverse engineer source code and deobfuscators, but I can't. And I was wondering if you could tell me some forums or vids that could help me learn this stuff. You are pretty good, and I watch your videos very good 100. And I thank them for that. That's very nice of them to say. Although I will say that you will generally get this response from me on subjects like this. I responded first off... Uh, this is how I responded. I generally don't help with that anymore because it's almost always, it really is, it's like 99% of the time, led to leeching that I've inadvertently helped with, and that was the reason why people wanted to learn reversing. I worded it a little bit differently than that, but that's basically what I meant. I probably should have said it that way instead, but whatever. So he said... I've been on guided hacking for a long time, trying to find out. I don't leech, by the way. I'm a good person who just wants to learn. And that's what set me off. And I went, oh, God, guided hacking is a terrible website. No wonder you haven't had any success on your own. And then I linked him the TOS, the post here, uh, rules of the forum. I, I linked him this and told him about the whole dollar donation thing to even just post. And... I guess he has only ever just read and just didn't care about that. But if you're in a learning process, you need the ability to ask questions. Come the hell on. Like, let's say somebody, let's say, let's go. Da, 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 da. Rake, you're an asshole. <laughs> Help the fucking guy. He's trying to learn. He clearly has some experience. He made a stupid video for you showing that he doesn't know what he's doing. This guy was willing to help, and that's a good tip. This is a good way to help somebody, because you're giving them a helping hand but not spoon feeding that's the way i like when people help you're telling them kind of where to look so that's ow i hate this fucking headset but my yeti is upstairs so this response good response rake you're a fucking asshole help the guy give him a tip of any fucking kind rake you're an asshole I really hope that the one guy that I know is not Rake. Because <laughs> it's going to be really awkward after this because I really like the guy. <laughs> but anyway, I doubt it is because um, he has his own website and isn't... I don't know if he still posts on Guided. I might be saying too much already, but... uh. No.
No. No. Don't tell me he's an admin. No. No. Okay, I don't think he's an admin on the site. I don't think he's an admin. I don't give a fuck. He's a goddamn asshole. So, you know what? Whatever, I guess. He is on here, though. Let me make sure, because this is admin. So he's just... Wait, what am I? No, I want my profile. Oh, I'm special. I'm not special. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't care. Um, well, this is going to get awkward on this forum real quick. Because he is on here. That sucks. Anyway, I don't really give a fuck. Rake, you're an asshole.